The reading this morning is taken from A Course in Miracles, and it's lesson 110. And the chapter is called, I Am as God Created Me. For this one thought would be enough to save you and the world if you believed that it is true. Its truth would mean that you have made no changes in yourself that have reality, nor changed the universe so that what God created was replaced by fear and evil, misery and death. If you remained as God created you, fear has no meaning. Evil is not real, and misery and death do not exist. This idea is all you need to let complete correction heal your mind and give you perfect vision that will heal all the mistakes that any mind has made at any time or place. It is enough to heal the past and to make the future free. It is enough to let the present be accepted as it is. It is enough to let time be the means for all the world to learn to escape from time and every change that time appears to bring in passing by. If you remain as God created you, appearances cannot replace the truth. Health cannot turn to sickness, nor can death be a substitute for life, or fear for love. All this has not occurred if you remain as God created you. You need no thought but just this one, to let redemption come to light the world and to free it from the past. In this one thought is all the past undone, the present saved to quietly extend into a timeless future. If you are as God created you, then there has been no separation of your mind from his, no split between your mind and other minds, and only unity within your own. The healing power of this idea is limitless. It is the birthplace of all miracles, the great restorer of the truth to the awareness of the world. This is the truth that comes to set you free. This is the truth that God has promised you. This is the word in which all sorrows end. I am as God created me. His son can suffer nothing, and I am his son. Seek him within you, who is Christ in you, the son of God and brother to the world, the saviour who has been forever saved, with power to save whoever touches him however lightly, asking for the word that tells him he is brother unto him. You are as God created you. Today honour yourself. Let graven images you made to be the Son of God instead of what he is to be worshipped, not today. Deep in your mind the Holy Christ in you is waiting your acknowledgement as you. And you are lost and do not know yourself while he is acknowledged and unknown. Seek him today and find him. He will be your saviour from all idols you have made. For when you find him, you will understand how worthless are your idols and how false the images which you believe were you. Today we make a great advance to truth by letting idols go and opening our hands and our hearts and our minds to God today. I am as God created me. Let us declare this truth as often as we can. This is the word of God that sets you free. This is the key that opens up the gates of heaven, that lets you enter into the peace of God and his eternity. I am as God created me. I hope that these words will settle gently into your being and that God will bring light and wisdom to them for you.